The Parliamentary Committees on Legal Affairs and that of Gender and Culture have begun scrutinizing the controversial institution of traditional or cultural leaders' bill which seeks to regulate the activities of these leaders. No sooner had Gender and Culture Minister Gabriel Pio began unveiling his proposed amendments to the bill than Kampala Central MP Arias Lukwago demanded for the withdrawal of the entire bill. He argued that good legislative practice demands that a bill which has been substantially overhauled be withdrawn. Why don't you withdraw this bill and delete the clauses you serve in the cabinet? Because you have the powers and you save us this trouble. The government is not withdrawing the bill. However, efforts by Lukwago, backed by Chadono East MP Sam Kalega Juba, do not yield fruit as the NRA majority overshadowed the minority opposition Buganda MPs who encouraged the minister to ignore them. I'm not sure that we entertain any delays in as far as listening to the minister is concerned. We should be considered to ourselves. We have no time to here. Some of the amendments to the bill include the clause suggesting rotational leadership by cultural leaders where a regional government operates. This clause was deleted. They are saying we are uh, proposing an amendment to delete that clause. Baropio says the controversial clause, especially rejected by Buganda Kingdom, will resurface in the regional tier bill soon to be tabled in Parliament. The clause to bar cultural leaders from compelling their subjects to pay allegiance to them has also been deleted. The minister maintains that a cultural leader will be held liable if they knowingly double in partisan politics. A person who knowingly involves a, a traditional cultural leader in the partisan politics commits an offence and is liable on the conviction to a fine not exceeding 24 current points or imprisonment not exceedingly exceeding 20. But on the privileges of traditional leaders, Opio says kings and their spouses will get first class travel once a year. Once a year. <laughs> this has raised eyebrows as to whether a cultural leader will only be allowed to travel abroad once in a year. Meanwhile, Bunyoro Kingdom has presented their views to the committee. They also put in a demand for the return of their properties, including the lost counties annexed to Buganda. Your sites, palaces and so on, uh, we only got a few things, like the two palaces. So there should be a mechanism whereby the Omkama should be able to air out his views cultural identity. Unlike Buganda, their major concern is allowing the Omokama to comment on government policies but not necessarily politics.